One of the first first things I should I should talk about in reference to like when we when you do get to the point where your leave it is like so strong where you'd be like, leave it down. Down. Break. Um <clears throat> like that. Um it would it wouldn't be just because like that's all you work on is just the leave. Like so I think the reason why her leave it is so strong is because our relationship is strong. And all the other components and all the other aspects of the way that we live together are um, really lean into um, the overall obedient dog, right? So it's not like, um, I think a lot of people like just automatically assume that because they raise their voice in specific moments um, that their dog is going to leave something. It doesn't really work like that. Um, when you're not working on like all parts of the dog, when you're not working on like all parts of the training, um, from the obedience to the exposure to the accountability, um, leave it, break, good job, um, <laughs> then it's likely that you're not going to end up with, you know, what you see here. So this is just, this video is just like to talk about some of the concepts of this particular thing. Um, but I do believe that if this is all you work on, it's not going to be as solid um, as what we have here with Rosie. So I could just throw it, leave it, heal. Good, pay her, and then break. And then you could release her to use her nose to go find the piece that I, that I um, originally threw. Okay, leave it, heal. Good, break. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> she has her collar on, but I'm not actually using it. Like, none of this is with e-collar at all. Heel. Good. Go right there. All right, so we're going to do that again. Just kind of show you guys one more time. Back. 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 Down. We're going to drop the piece of food. <clears throat> okay. Leave it. Break. Okay. Good girl. Oh, pretty easy, right? <laughs> Good girl. Steady. Down. So there has to be like, you know, because every time a dog, like, every time you need the leave it command, the dog is going to be like super jacked on getting the thing that you want them to leave. So it's important to actually sort of simulate the same exact situation. And like, I like to use food with Rosie particularly because there's not a lot more uh, like that Rosie gets excited o over, you know, she does, she's not the dog that is like sniffing for leaves and shit. And, um, there's dogs that do that. And like, a like dogs on walks, it's like, fuck dude, just walk with me. So like a leave it would be really, um, would be really good. Um, if you have a dog that just like wants to like pick everything up off the ground and that, that's not the case with Rosie. Um, but still, like, I want to be able to get her to come off of anything. So I like to use the thing that they really, really uh, enjoy most. And it's just pretty easy to sort of set them up. It just comes down to understanding what it is that your dog desires. You could use food, you could use toys, whatever, whatever, like, you know. And here's the thing. It's like you're getting them to leave it, but you're also rewarding them for leaving it. So, like, if I toss a piece of food, okay, leave it. Yes. So since she left that, I rewarded her for leaving it. Okay. And then I could release her with an okay to like get the piece that I initially had her leave. Does that make sense? So it's almost like you're sort of uh, formulating this pattern that if you leave it, you're going to actually get rewarded for doing so. So I think the dog becomes a little more inclined to leave it. Does that make sense? Because it's like, okay, well, if I leave it, I'm going to get paid. And that's how I really like to set up the pattern to start with for sure. Like eventually, I may not have to reward for leaving it because at this point, dude, ever, like, I expect you to leave it now, you know, but when we're sort of like in the initial teaching process, you want to like drop the piece of food. I think you guys kind of got the point. Um, I'm going to go get a dog that doesn't know leave it yet. And I think you're going to have the opportunity to watch this dog start to put the pieces of the puzzle together. <clears throat> okay, guys, we're back with Jolie and... 
I wanted to use a dog that doesn't necessarily really know the command all that well. Um, that command right now we're going to be going over is the leave it command. And so what I'm going to do is give you a little demonstration on how she doesn't know it that well. Um, we're pretty good in a lot of other ways. He'll, um, but we're not really to the point where she could leave something like on that first shot, right? On that first command. So we're going to test this out. We're going to back her up a little bit. He'll, I'm going to chuck it. She didn't see. <laughs> she didn't see. Look, there's a piece there. Back. <laughs> Heel. There it is. Good. All right, so I'll make sure she sees it this time. And you saw how successful we were with Rosie with this. So you, you throw it. Leave it. Okay, she went and got it anyway. So I'm going to throw it again and show you. Leave it. She doesn't listen to the command for shit. So heel. So she's got that down. But um, that's why I wanted to show you guys, you know, how to uh, how to start. And if this is a lot of where a lot of people are at, they're at the starting point. So that's why I really wanted to kind of show you what the end result was with Rosie, but also kind of take you through, you know, the very very beginning steps of teaching a leave it command because it's super important, obviously for safety reasons, right? Um, or for just have a dog that picks everything up off the ground and it's annoying, so you want to have that leave it in your back pocket. Oh, heel. Good. You could use just a flat buckle collar. Um, this is the first collar that I've... She's conditioned to a prong collar, so we're going to use a prong collar for her. I'm going to put it on the double loop to take away the martingale feature. So it end, eventually just it kind of ends up just like a flat, a flat buckle with some dull rounded points. So this is it. Leave it. Yes. All right. Yes, good, leave it. And then, okay. And then you take them back to the spot and you just reward them for the thing that they left to begin with. But there's like a initial reward, right? Um, leave it, yes. So there's gonna be a little bit of leave it, yes. And then, okay. And then let them use their nose to search out where that first one went. So um, all kinds of good stuff happening here. And then, you can see to start the process, I am giving a little bit of leash pressure because she's ignoring the leave it sound. Oh, okay. She could kind of, you could kind of see the pattern already starting to sink in with her heel. And it doesn't surprise me that it's sinking in so quickly for her because once like your dog really starts to pick up on like this learning process and because we've got so many other things down pretty well, orbit. You know, so we work on like all sorts of other things and the dog at one year old, I've had her since puppy, I could just tell that whenever I teach her something new, plots, I could tell that it doesn't take long for her to understand this new concept and new theory because of the way that we've successfully formulated all the other things. Leave it. Okay. So, and I promise you, I've never worked on this with her. And you saw it was taking three reps for her to kind of understand. Heel. Okay. I'm not even having to tell her to leave it at this point. I'm like super surprised myself right now. Joe, heel. Good job. Orbit. Let's dance. Let's dance. <laughs> so, I hope you guys got the point. You have to have something the dog really desires. You have to stop them in their tracks. Leave it. Ah! Naughty. That didn't work right there. <laughs> You're not going to be successful every time. Heel. Good. Leave it. Okay. So shit like that. But you're going to want to start with the leash in your hand, obviously. I'm going to try to really encourage her to leave it. Yes. Good. And step back. And then, okay. I hope you guys got something out of it. Appreciate you guys. Peace.